coach Champagne, talented team. How are you guys preparing for them coming in? It was a little bit of a mystery. They had uh, we were checking websites and looking at some different things, but uh, you know we we definitely knew about the big fellow and we definitely knew about Jones, and then everything else was kind of uh, we were unsure what we were gonna we were gonna get. And they ended up being a explosive, get to the basket, talented guys, and uh, they're a little bit younger, and, uh, and and I think that played a part in it. Having a younger group in a first game, you know, as coaches like to throw that first game uh, out the window unless you win, and then, and then you get to count. Well, you got the win. Uh, big contribution from your seniors. Uh, how important is this class? Oh, well, senior class. That's our that's our team. <laughs> you know, there's uh, there's seven seniors. Uh, all of them got lots of minutes. Um, you know, we got a we got some underclassmen, not many, that contributed. But you know, this is their team. You know, in the end, when people look back, it'll be they'll say Max Biafel and Drew Blumenstein, David Mullen. You know, they'll name the seniors' names. Well, you, you talked about Champagne's big man. You, you got him in foul trouble early. Was that part of the game plan? Was to go at him early, see if you can get him in foul trouble? Absolutely. Uh, Max has excellent uh, post moves. Uh, he's got great technique. He shows the ball. If somebody's a shot blocker and they think they can get him, he's going to get him in foul trouble. Talk to Max about it. Mid State Six, always a tough conference. Uh, what's the feel for the other three teams this year? Friday nights are tough. <laughs> Manual, Peoria Manual, Peoria Central, and Peoria Richards. And I think if you look lately at the uh, state championship games over the last 10 years, uh, our conference has uh, has represented well. So it's just a dog fight every Friday night. It's so fun though to get up for those games, and we'll play in front of you know half of Peoria because the other half will be at the other game, and. Uh, uh, just great basketball environment with really good basketball players. Mm -hmm. right. I think he's Max, congratulations, like, big game. Uh, you jumped out early and, and they the came back at you. Uh, what, what was the feeling yeah. on, on the team? Well, what about for you to open run? the season? Uh, yeah, we didn't get out. We got out really great. You know, we got off to a good start. Uh, it kind of crept back in the second half. We really we came together at the time. We're like, you guys, we just got to pull things together, slow things down. You know, do what we do best, share the ball, and work as a team. That's what we did. You dominated the post both ends. They were ten. Pretty talented big man. Uh, is, is that a mantra for you that you just want to come out and be the best man on the post for both ends this year? I mean, that's always a challenge for me, trying to control the lane down there, you know, blocking shots and stuff, you know, showing my presence. That's what I always try to do. A couple records for you tonight. Uh, was that a nice surprise? Did, did you have that on your radar? I really had no idea. I mean, I just I just get focused into the game, and I I really don't tally up my points or anything in my head. I just, just play, you know, whatever happens, happens. Uh, Mid State Six, always a tough conference. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, what are you guys thinking? Is, is a, a conference title one of your goals this year? Oh, yeah, the conference title is definitely one of our goals. I mean, we got a, to me, a really tough race. We got some great teams in there this year. We only got four teams, but they're four probably top 20 teams in that state. So, I mean, it's never easy. Well, you, you going to be checking out Richwoods here? Yeah, we're, we're staying for their game. Check them out, see how they're looking. Scout them up. Yep. Congratulations. All right, thanks.